Hey guys, Michelle here. I hope you guys are enjoying the sneak peek so far. Um, you've heard from a lot of great coaches and hopefully it's given you um, some insight into what we do so far and how our day is. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my day and sort of how I work my weeks. Um, I work part-time with our family business, so I have a lot of flexibility. I work out of the house. So um, a lot of my um, things depend upon what my schedule is, where I need to be, and all of that. Um, but I'm raising two teenagers also, um, and I am a mom, so I have those responsibilities as well. So typically I will... Um, get up early, um, a little bit earlier in the morning before they get up and are going to school so that I can um, do some things, uh, check in. Um, I check in first thing in the morning and I do a post um, and I kind of, I guess, clear out everything, if you want to call it. I clear out and look through all the groups. I clear out and um, look through people who have liked my stuff and my notifications and things. And I just try to like kind of clear out like really early first thing in the morning. And then I take them to school and I come home and I get my workout in. Um, I always get my workout in. Saturdays are my rest day. And usually Saturday is a day when I really don't do the business and I don't really work it um, as much. Um, so I get my workout in. I usually walk the dogs for about 20 minutes or so. And that's a lot where I get my personal development in. Um, I'm listening as I'm walking them. Um, a lot of times, though, personal development, um, I will uh, usually listen to a video or a book or something um, while I'm getting dressed and ready or if I'm in the car going to and from school or going somewhere for work, um, I'll listen to something then. Or even if I'm just getting into bed early, I'll I'll read something on my Kindle. So um, it's really important if you're not working on yourself and working on your weaknesses and improving your strengths, you're not going to be able to help other people. And that's why personal development is like a huge thing in Beachbody. It's one of the serious vital behaviors. And it's really one that a lot of coaches tend to poo-poo. And it's really probably the most important one that we do. Um, so that's kind of how I get the personal development in. I usually have my shake um, on the way to carpool so that I'm not dipping into their snacks. So I'll whip up my shake um, really quick and take it with me there. Um, so usually um, you got to be a product of the product. So um, I do post live um, after my workouts and kind of tell people what I do. Um, but pretty much everything on my business page and my challenge groups and all, I schedule and I plan it out through, um, it's a scheduling app called Buffer, and that saves me so much time. Um, I just carve out a little bit of time one day a week, and I... Um, I post all my stuff for the week in my groups. I post all the stuff on my business page um, for the most part. Um, some stuff is live. Some stuff is like I do um, um, without scheduling. But a lot of this stuff I do schedule and make sure that it's going to be posted. So I save a lot of time that way um, through the scheduling app. And it's really just about being consistent. Um, I do power hours. Um, my power hour typically comes after I've done my workout and walk the dogs and I try to just get in a quick power hour. Um, but sometimes my power hours are not hours and yours don't have to be a whole hour. Um, I have some coaches that break it up into six 10 minute sessions when they can get it here and there, 15 minute, two half hour sessions. It doesn't make a difference. The main thing is, is that you are focused. You have the notifications turned off. You are not being distracted because you have, because in those short periods of time that you do have to work your business, you wanna be focused. You wanna be intentional. And you want to do the things that make your business move it forward. Um, and so that's following up with customers, following up with potential people who've asked for your help, following up with potential coaches. Um, it's also adding to your network, going back through and seeing who's um, liked your page, um, sending private messages, sending out invites if you're doing um, a support and accountability group for the month or you're trying to promote that. Um, so it really just depends. Now, what I usually do is I kind of break up my week and I say, okay, on Fridays, I'm going to just follow up with my customers. And that's part of my power hour for Friday. And on Wednesdays, I'm going to follow up with potential coaches. And that's part of my weekly power hour. And I live by my um, calendar on my phone. And I love to-do lists where I can just like click and delete and for the day. Um, but I have a lot of things repeated because consistency is key in this business. If you're not consistent, kind of like your fitness and nutrition, you know, if you're not consistent with your fitness, fitness and your nutrition, you're not going to grow. You're not going to make strides and changes. And it's the same with your business. If you're not consistent with it and you're not um, showing up in the news feed 
consistently and you're not talking and posting about your journey and sharing your stories and sharing what you're um, doing to help your customers, you're not going to grow and you're not being consistent and people aren't going to see that. And so um, it's not like you have to post 10 times a day. You know, if you can post anywhere from three to five and a little bit about your journey and a little bit more about who you are, you know, who are you? Um, for me, I love laughter. So I always post something that's really funny. I love wine and tequila. So you'll see some of that throughout the week. I always do a motivational post in the morning. I have little quotes that I like to post throughout the day and a thought of the day in the evening. Um, so you got to mix it up and um, nobody wants to see health and fitness all the time from you. They want to see you. You're human. Like Daniel said, um, you want them to see you. You want them to see your struggles and you're sharing your journey with people. Um, the more real you are and the more they can connect with you, that's what is going to grow your business because you're relatable. And this whole business is about being uh, is a relationship building business. Um, I rarely scroll through the feeds. That's like a waste of time for me. And you can to get totally sucked into the feeds, right? I bet you've done it before. Um, so I try not to go through the news feeds and scroll through that unless I actually have a little bit of time. Like my daughter's driving, so I can um, be in the car and I can, you know, be looking at some of that while she's driving. Or if they have a doctor's appointment, I can sit there and I can scroll and kind of, you know, catch up with that from time to time. Um, so I find little bits here and there where I can scroll through, but for the most part, I am not scrolling. I'm not really looking at a whole lot of stuff. I mostly look at what people, I look at the people who are liking, commenting, and saying stuff about my post so that I can go and interact and, and do things with them because I'm most interested in them because they're most interested in me. Um, what else can I tell you about my day? That's mostly it. Um, it, again, it's just going back to planning and scheduling and being consistent. And um, you just have to be organized. Um, and you can't get sidetracked and you can't be, um, there's so many things that can distract you in this business. And you, you know, with all the social media and all the devices going off and whatever, and you really have to be focused when you do build your business and work on your business. And you do have to plug into your business because we can only help you as a team, but it's your business. It's your baby and you have to work it. We can't work it for you. We can support you. We can give you ideas. We can train you and mentor you, but ultimately it comes back down to you. And you're the one that is responsible for um, for taking control, for being proactive, for plugging into the trainings, for plugging in um, and seeing what's going on in your online office, for following up with your people, and and so on and so on. So um, that's about it. I just wanted to make this video for you guys today to give you a little bit more about me. But pretty much, you know, once I pick up my kids um, from school, I'm not really doing much. I do check in with my challengers um, in the evening and I do my own accountability in my groups. Um, and I do look at that look and, and check in with them in the morning. And I try to do it again sometime around lunchtime or right before I leave to go get the kids. So um, I am trying to continue to be engaged with them. Um, and I always private message them at least once a week to see how they're doing, because even though people are in our groups, um, they need to know that we're there to help them one-on-one -on -one as well. And so I think that's really important too. And to pick up the phone, um, and you know, besides all the texting and emailing, sometimes it's nice to hear people's voices and now you can do voice message on uh, Facebook, which is pretty cool too. So anyway, that is my typical, uh, week. If you have any questions, please comment below. Um, hopefully this was helpful and I hope that um, you guys continue to enjoy the sneak peek and, and get all your questions answered.